Let's be honest, 2022 was a tough year for Chicago PD fans, but with every ending comes a new beginning. So who's the new recruit, Dante Torres, in Chicago PD? Or will Jesse Lee Soffer return to Chicago PD in 2023? And was his goodbye really forever? You know what? Let's talk about that later. First, let's discuss who this new recruit, Dante Torres, is in Chicago PD. Torres is portrayed by Benjamin Levy Aguilar. He was recently recruited to join the team full-time. But who is Dante Torres? If you think that he looks a little familiar, you're absolutely right. Torres actually first appeared in episode 18, season 9. When Torres first appeared on the scene, the team was hesitant to trust him at first, and they weren't entirely wrong. Torres has a bit of a troubled past. Not having grown up in the best of neighborhoods, Torres was actually a gang member as a teenager, and he was sent to juvenile detention after all but killing his mother's abusive second husband. But Torres proved himself to be more than the sum of his past. And while in detention, Torres found his true calling. So he burned off his gang tattoos and made up his mind. I burned it off in Julie. He would become a police officer. Just think about that for a second. What an amazing character arc Torres already went through, even before he joined the intelligence team. Because when Torres is first introduced, the Chicago PD intelligence team learns that he called the police six times on his stepfather's abuse. And they didn't help. But no one ever showed up to save him and his mother. In other words, Torres was failed miserably by the system, not just once, but several times. And that same system even put him in juvenile detention, even though it was the system's fault that he had to protect his family himself. Yet, somehow, Torres finds it in himself to learn from his mistakes and become the change that he wants to see in the world, become the police officer that he wished he had met when he was a kid himself. That's why I want to be a cop. If that isn't a powerful backstory, I don't know what it is. Which is how, after his training at the police academy, Torres finds himself getting recruited by Halstead for an investigation in season nine. This is where the groundwork for Torres to become a permanent part of the team was already put down. Next time Torres appeared on Chicago PD was during the first few episodes of season 10. Torres joined the intelligence team as an undercover agent in order to help investigate a new drug. And finally, Torres had become a primary investigator in episode four of season 10 of Chicago PD, kicking off the next part of his career with a case that hit especially close to home. This all happened at the same time that Halstead made his exit. Both times that Torres came into the picture were troublesome times for the intelligence team. But because Torres has a great previously established relationship with Halstead, welcoming him into the team isn't nearly as difficult as it would have been if we hadn't previously established some kind of attachment to him. Does this mean we don't need Halstead? Of course not. No one can ever fill the void Halstead left when he decided to up and leave. And that's not what Torres is supposed to be doing anyway. We got him. However, Torres does have a great starting point to start forging his own way with intelligence instead. His presence also offers a new dynamic that opens up a whole realm of new possibilities. Not to mention a wholly unique perspective to add to the Chicago PD intelligence team. But does Torres' promotion mean that Halstead is gone for good? Or will Jesse Lee Soffer make a return to Chicago PD in 2023? It can be. No, it can't be. Look, just because we're used to a shakeup every once in a while doesn't mean that we're willing to never see Halstead again. We were given so little time to prepare for his departure as well. Detective Jay Halstead has literally always been a vital part of the intelligence team. In fact, Soffer made his official debut as Halstead on Chicago Fire, ahead of the premiere of Chicago PD. Soffer was definitely a breakout fan favorite, and not in the least because he served as the moral compass for the team. Intelligence. I'm intelligence, give me a radio. A radio? And while his character's presence is definitely still felt in the series, life just hasn't been the same without Soffer. Of course, fans are still hoping that Halstead will one day return, 
But could it be that Soffer will make a return as Detective Jay Halstead in Chicago PD somewhere in 2023? Well, let's take a look. It's not like Soffer left after some kind of drama. He made his exit on good terms. My resignation. Actually, Soffer had already made his return. Well, sort of. Soffer returned to direct an episode after he left Chicago PD, which makes it all the more likely that he'll make a return on the other side of the camera one day as well. After all, they did keep his character alive, which is pretty much the most important ingredient for an actor's return. Thought you hated long goodbyes. There are also several loose ends that could do with some tidying up. I didn't want to be you. And as we've seen on Chicago Fire, there have been many instances where characters who had left made a return for guest appearances to help revisit their storylines and offer just a little bit more closure. Jesse Spencer and Monica Raymond are good examples of this. Both made a brief comeback after their characters, Matt Casey and Gabby Dawson respectively, had left the show before. Italians are getting a little frayed. It wasn't just nice to see their faces again though. Their returns also gave the opportunity to revisit key storylines that had been left hanging upon their initial exits. Most of the time, this means the spotlight was turned to the relationships with their loved ones. Ah, uh, it's a permanent position. And remember, Halstead only just married Haley Upton, and he just left. If Soffer made a surprise return in the upcoming season, his return could be used to address their marital status. Haley, will you marry me? Whether it's on the rocks or thriving, I'd like to know. Don't you want to know? It's the not knowing that gets to me. I love you. Anyway, of course, it's also entirely possible that Soffer will return for more than just a one episode appearance. As you may remember, we just saw Yaya Da Costa make a brief return to Chicago Med, which ended in a multiple episode arc following her initial departure from the series the previous season. If it's not clear by now, fans are dying for Soffer to make a return to Chicago PD. I have made my decision. We're not doing Yes, this. we are. Given his directorial return, it's pretty safe to assume that Soffer managed to maintain strong relationships with both cast and crew of Chicago PD. So even though you now know who the new recruit Dante Torres is on Chicago PD, it's still going to take some time to get used to this new addition to the intelligence team, don't you think? It's also nice to know that there's a good possibility that Jesse Lee Soffer will return to Chicago PD in 2023 as well. You got something better going on? No. Hopefully, it's sooner rather than later.